Welcome back to the Express at Capilano Suspension Bridge. This is our North Van special featuring famous places and performers. Up next, it's a local man who makes his living in a rather unusual way, juggling knives and flaming batons while riding a unicycle. He's built a career out of having fun. I'm basically a juggler and a unicyclist, but the show is uh, more about the interaction with the audience. And uh, basically, you learn your tricks, but you really have to find a way to make it accessible to the audience. Hand me the first knife. That's the second one. <laughs> That's the true art and what it is that we do. And he's been doing it for the past 20 years at festivals and events. Up, 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 up. And he even teaches. Throw, 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 up, up. Good, now fix that left hand throw. Get it going way higher. I went to acting school in Nanaimo. I learned how to juggle there, part of a theater festival called Shakespeare Plus. I never ever thought that it would be a job, but I thought it might land me a job or two acting. But slowly, it became the job. He admits it was tough getting started. Uh, I think because you're pretty bad when you start off, so you've got to really take your knocks. It's just like in the uh, world of comedy. Luckily, I eased into it. I kind of started right after Expo. That was a huge turnaround in my field where all of a sudden events that used to just have popcorn or something like that, all of a sudden they had entertainers, jugglers, such. But the business of bringing smiles hasn't always been fun in games. You don't know when your next gig's going to come up, and uh, a lot of people can't handle that. You know, it's, they need to have their job where they're going, you know, five days a week, and they know that they're going to get that paycheck. Well, that's not my reality. But after a few years, you stop worrying about that. You just have to kind of relax and go, somebody's going to call. And for the past two decades, they have. I'm definitely comfy. I don't think I'll ever be rich, but I'm certainly rich in how happy I am in life. The best job in the world, really. You're paid to play with people. You're paid to go and make people smile and have a few laughs with people, and that's pretty much it. It's a simple task involving some not so simple to learn skills. In North Vancouver, I'm Peter Kim for The Express. As an entertainer, Mike can also get into character as Santa or an elf to liven up your Christmas party. You can find out more information at his website. Now, it seems there would be an obvious segue to this next story, but I'm not going to do it. We're taking you to a nut store in North Vancouver that opened about two years ago, carrying on a family tradition that started 25 years ago. I'm not saying Mike's a nut. Just a little crazy. The nut roaster never stops at Ayub's Dried Fruit and Nuts in North Vancouver. And neither does Bruce, who does most of the roasting. Uh, those one is double line. Bruce came to Canada about six years ago from Iran. And he's been helping Vancouverites crack into nuts ever since. Iran, lots of people, is after work very popular, you know, is buy the some nuts and then back to home and they eat together for friends. All kind of pistachio, almonds, pumpkin seed, sunflower seed and the watermelon seed. Ayub's began in Iran about 25 years ago, but the North Vancouver location has just been open about two years. Noura is Ayub's daughter. Really, they're kind of a part of the culture. We have nuts for every single uh, festival and everything, like New Year and uh, some, every family gathering. We have dry fruit and nuts. Only about 20% of Ayub's clients are Persian. Canadians are going nuts for, well, you know. Everything is very fresh and very tasty. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any favorites? The pistachios, the premium pistachios are amazing. If you have right amount, they're really healthy for you. Like, uh, you should have a handful of uh, nuts every day. The healthy snacks are high in protein and oils, and having them freshly roasted and seasoned is part of the appeal. Noura, this is one of your most famous mixes. What is it, and uh, what's in it? There are four kernels added to it. Uh, cashews, hazelnut, uh, almond and pistachios. And this is one of our most popular. Okay, and what are the flavorings that we have? Uh, they have a bit of lime and saffron added to them. You can't really smell it, can you? Yep, yeah, well, you can taste it. Okay. That's my 
favorite store in my country, Iran, and I have the same company over there. And always when I came here, they have the fresh, hot, and the price is good too. I'm a regular customer, always I'm here and to buy the good stuff from myself and from my friends. Very tasty, you can add it to almost any meal and it enhances the flavor of anything. I'm Erin Shaw in North Vancouver for The Express. Ayub's gets extra busy at Christmas time. They do pre-packaging as well as gift boxes that you can assemble yourself. But don't worry, the roasting's done for you. Now stay with us because we have more Iranian and specialty shops from North Vancouver to showcase coming up. Up next on The Express. It's probably one of the best kebabs I've eaten for a long time. Yes, bizarre. It looks so good. I just want everything. La Le Bakery. The Express. This is your local voice. Food and activity working together to buy the electricity. Let's start with the food that your body load. You gobble it up and send it on the road. The food gets to its destination. It's pure gastric fascination. Your stomach acts like a wood burning fire. It burns your lunch up, that's your body's desire. You gotta balance food and activity working together to buy the electricity. But there's a problem here that'll make your motor stop when you just sit around the engine will flop. So you gotta get moving for the work to be done. If you lay on a couch, you won't be any fun. If you just sit, your gut will be blue. If you sit and sit, you'll turn to goo. You gotta balance food and activity. Working together, the body electricity. The moral is you gotta balance the two. With good food and activity, you can make a healthy you. You gotta balance food and activity. Working together, the body electricity. Welcome back to our Express North Van Special at Capilano Suspension Bridge. Now this attraction is a staple in this city for tourists and locals. But they may not know that this city also has its very own king, a granola king. Look at that smile. What's there not to like? I mean, look at that. <laughs> He's the king of his castle. The king's gold. Benno the Granola King makes two kinds of all-natural granola in his North Vancouver roasting plant and he does it all with heart. We have this little dedication on the, on the wall that says the efforts of the Granola King Company are dedicated to serving the highest good. So it can be anything from something as simple as saying, okay, we could make more money making granola in this particular way, but is that something that'll serve the greatest good or is that something that's going to serve people? We could get cheaper ingredients using, you know, Argentinian honey or Chinese honey, but is that going to be the very best? Is that going to be the thing that will give people the most value and do the best job that we possibly can? So what he does do is choose organic oats and unpasteurized honey from Western Canada and makes his fresh granola every week by hand. And to think it all started years ago from a poster. I had a beautiful picture of a snowy tiger and on it it said, always be a king within, no matter what your external circumstances. And, you know, for me, I, um, it was just like a little light went on. And I said, I'm going to be the granola king of Western Canada. And that's exactly what he did, measuring his company's growth by his monthly granola production. We went from 50 pounds to uh, just uh, over 20,000 pounds, and we're just on the verge of distribution of Vancouver Island and Western Canada. And we're going to go from selling to approximately 70 stores to over 1,000. And this growth is fueled by more than just great granola. Our simple mission statement is that we nourish people. And when I say nourish people, I don't mean just with the food. I want to be, I want to nourish people at every level of their being. La, 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 la. And one way he does that is by putting a little blessing in every bag. 
I just got this off the internet off of some uh, sports website actually and it's by Walter Bruning. He's 114 and he's the world's oldest man. And this is the blessing for this week. A lot of people think they're born for themselves. I don't think that. I believe that we're here to help other people all the way through. I love that. The guy's 114 years old. I think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I've really found my calling. I love people and I'm a bit of a clown and I, I, I really value freedom, personal freedom. And I knew a long time ago that I couldn't work for anybody else. And there's no better way to be your own boss than by crowning yourself the Granola King of Western Canada. I'm Kendall Harris in North Vancouver for The Express. The Granola King is releasing a new product called Choco Hay. It's a spread of roasted hazelnuts and semi-sweet dark chocolate. Delicious. And we're going to keep the treats coming with kebabs and pastries and imported specialties. With over 20,000 Iranian Canadians living in North Vancouver, this has become the spot for Persian cuisine. All right. The next round of delicious Iranian pastries go into the oven at Lala Bakery. Owner Saeed Salimi has been keeping customers happy at his North Vancouver bakery for over 17 years. The Iranian, they love it because, you know, they like uh, traditional from Iran. This kind of thing is uh, all the bakery in the Iran, if you go, they have same stuff, same thing. That's why Iranian, they like it. I make same thing for them. It looks so good, I just want everything. That should be all for today. <laughs> Thank you so much. But it's not just the North Vancouver Iranians that love Lala Bakery. We have a lot of customers, not just Iranian. We have a lot of Canadian, Chinese, Indian, Arab people. Lala Bakery definitely satisfies anyone's sweet tooth, but savory dishes await just a few blocks away. 35. Yas Bazaar is an Iranian grocery store and kebab restaurant all in one. A typical day always has a busy lineup of customers waiting to get their kebab fix, some for the very first time. We really wanted people to know more about Persian food. They know about the other, um, lots of other countries, but uh, not Persians, but now I think a lot of people they know about us and Persian food. Uh, we love to have um, Iranians and other people. We care about them all. And that extra bit of care definitely comes out through the food. So how does it taste? Mmm, it tastes really good. Probably one of the best kebabs I've eaten for a long time. They know how to make them and it's more like homemade, not like so restaurant-y because they do it themselves. These happy customers are proof that when in this neighborhood, Iranian food must be on the menu. I'm Mana Mansour in North Vancouver for The Express. Yas Bazaar and Lele Bakery are two of the many Iranian specialty shops in North Vancouver. So when you come to eat, you should stay to play because it's time for The Express Spotlight. Visit the market at Lonsdale Key for some Halloween fun. Kids' activities include trick-or-treating, spooky storytelling, pumpkin decorating, and prizes for the best costume. Watch a remarkable performance at Cap's Performing Arts Theatre of an ensemble that brings the rich musical and dance traditions of Iran to the stage. Spend the evening in the spirit of Halloween here at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. The night will be filled with live entertainment, trick-or-treating, and a grand jack-o'-lantern display. And that's it for today's Express Special on the people and places of North Vancouver. I'm Johanna Ward, and on behalf of all of us on the show, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave you with a look at the local art scene, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.